I'm going to tell you something that's going to sound really weird for some of you. React does not have any idea what the browser is. React is a component framework and its job is to manage state and keep track of when these components should update. But how does React then live in the browser and update your HTML state and your elements? You might recognize a line of code I'm going to show you now and you usually find it in a file called index.js in your React project and it looks like this. This is the layer that talks to React and reacts on the document object model in your project. So this React DOM package is actually forming the updates on the DOM when all these different lifecycle events happen inside React. So when there's a state change that you send to React, React is going to tell React DOM that this has happened and React DOM is going to handle the updates of the actual HTML tags. And why am I telling you this? Well, because today we're doing something really cool. We're going to use React to build a 3D environment inside 3.js and to do that we're going to use a package called React 3 Fiber. So this will be a canvas running WebGL and we're going to use React to place things in our 3D WebGL rendered world. And we can even use physics and we can also animate movements and shapes, more things, changing size and so on in the React way. And I think this is really, really cool. And it's going to take very few lines of code since we can use abstracted components like we're used to in React. So let's jump into the code and get started. Okay, so let's look at the code. So we start at the index.js file. And as you can see, we are using React DOM to render the app into the document. But if we go into app now, we can see that the outermost component inside app is canvas. And that means that anything inside the canvas, any component we put there, will not be rendered by React DOM anymore, but will be rendered by React 3 Fiber. And it will not be your standard DOM element, it will be elements inside 3.js. So basically components inside a 3D environment. So inside here, we have access to a bunch of components from React 3 Fiber, and we don't have to import them in order to use them. I will show you in just a minute how that works. So right now, our canvas is totally empty. It just looks like this. So we want to add something to look at. So I would suggest that we add a box. So let's create a box function that will return a mesh and inside the mesh we need to have a geometry and we also need to add a material to the mesh so our geometry will looks like this will look like this a box buffer geometry and we also need to attach as geometry and then we're going to add a material and we're going to use a material called mesh lambert material if you want to read more about the different materials you can do that in the 3js documentation we attach it as a material and we set a color to it. And now we can add the box to our canvas. So let's look in the DOM. We have a black box, but we can't do anything with this. It just looks like a 2D box. And in order to explore what this box actually is, there is a great component that we can import from a package called Dre. So we import orbit controls from Dre. And now we can add that to our canvas, orbit controls. So now if I click and drag, we can see that this shape is changing. 
and maybe you can see that it is actually a 3D box that is spinning around following my mouse. But this is totally black, so what we need to do now is to add some lights to the scene. So let's first add an ambient light. So this is just a light that is everywhere, shining on every surface. Okay, so not much changed except that the black became pink, but the shape looks the same. So we want to get some perspective of this box. And to do that, we're going to have a spotlight shining from the side. So we do a spotlight, but let's add some props to this because this one needs to shine from an angle and be set at a position. And the way that you do that is to set it as props like this. So now let's see what it looks like. Now we're starting to see that this is an actual 3D shape. So that's pretty cool. But the background looks a bit boring now. It's just totally black and it's nothing there. A box in nothingness. So from Dre we can also import another cool component called stars. And it is actually exactly what it sounds like. It's a starry sky. Ooh, so now we can see that this box is actually floating in space here and we get some perspective. And if we zoom out really far, we can see what is actually happening here. So we can see that it is inside a huge sphere. Looks like the observable universe. Our next step, I think, should be to add a um, a ground to this box. So we will add a plane. So let's copy this one. I will add a plane. plane. This is not a box buffer geometry, it's a plane. And we want to make sure that this plane is lower than the box. And the default position of the box is 0, 0, 0 for x, y, z. Now let's add the plane to our scene. I think I forgot to set the size of this plane and that we can do with the args prop. So I'll set it 100 times 100. We'll set the color to be light blue. So now we have a plane here. But the plane is vertical, so we want to rotate this plane 90 degrees. So we add a rotation prop to the plane and we rotate it by minus math.pi 0, 0. And I think we also need to, to get to 90 degrees, we need to divide it by 2. There we have it. But now we want to raise, either lower the plane or raise the box a bit. So we'll set the box position to 2. Let's see if that is the right way. Yeah, that's the right way. So now we have it floating slightly above the plane. So the next thing we should do is to add some physics to this box. And then there's a library that we can utilize to do this. And that library is called use canon. So we will import use box from use. The physics library is called canon JS, but there is a package called use canon that allows us to use these hooks to inject physics on our React 3 Fiber components. So the components we want to have in our uh, physics environment should be wrapped in a physics component. Like that. And let's see if, yeah, now it auto imported physics for us. So inside 
the box component now, we need to get a ref to this physics uh, box representation. So we use use box and then we give it a callback. And from this callback, we return an object. So here we can give it some properties. Let's set mass to one. So it has some, if it doesn't have mass, then how is gravity going to affect it? And then we need to set this ref to this mesh. So now let's see what happens. Oop, the box starts falling. The box falls through the plane now, and that is because we haven't added the plane to our cannon hook yet. So let's do something similar here. But our plane should not have a mass because it should not be affected by gravity. Oh, this hook should be use plane, not use box. Okay, so now we've set the rotation correctly both on the mesh and on the use cannon hook. And for the box we set the position on both of them. So now when we look in the browser, we see that the box lands on the plane, so that's awesome. And the last thing I want to do, I want to see if I can affect this box a little bit with the mouse. So on the box mesh, we just set an on-click property that takes a callback here. And inside this callback, we want to affect the box. So how do we do that? Well, from use cannon, we don't only get the ref, we also get an API. So this API, we can affect the properties of this box. So if we do api.set dot velocity dot set so we see here we can set the x y and z and we want it to jump up a bit when we click it so we'll set something like that so let's see if that works so it's, I can get it to fly a bit here so that's pretty cool uh, so it would be cool to become even better at this and then try to build a 3D game. I think that would be a really cool goal to have. And if anyone of you do that, please send me a link to the repo or a website where I can try out the game. It would be super cool. I think it's pretty cool what you can achieve in React 3 Fiverr with just 50 lines of code. And it's really nice with the React way of abstracting components. So this outermost layer that quite describes the world and also we can wrap things in behaviors like this physics wrapper it's easy to get an overview of what is actually going on in the world we could also wrap these lights in a lights component or something like that so i hope you learned something from this video if you liked it then thumbs up the video and um, subscribe if you want to so cool, I will see you guys next time. Bye!